Matt here, Radio KD8 TTE. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to join a radio net using Morse code. Stick around. In two-way radio communications, messages are able to move across the country or just across town by having stations meet on a particular frequency at an appointed time. This is known as a net. Computer networks have adopted this model for working in that environment. What we're going to see today is very much the same thing. It's a model that goes back far before computers but still works very effectively. We're going to see how human operators managing those radio stations are able to move those messages. The first act is to be able to join the net. The net control operator is a station whose job is to direct all activity on the net. The net control operator will be on the frequency at the particular time and will identify the net. The net control operator will also then ask for stations to join the net. Because we're using Morse code, what we are going to see is that the net is identified using some particular signal, typically an abbreviation, and once we have the station ready to take others joining the net, the net control station will send QNI. That is the signal that is used on amateur radio traffic nets, that is, message passing nets, for stations to join the net. After QNI has been issued by the net control operator, other stations wishing to join the net will send their signal, typically just one letter, and then wait to be recognized by net control. This prevents too many stations from transmitting over top of one another and not being able to be understood. The net control operator, hearing one of those transmissions, will pick one, if there are multiple, or respond to the one who has transmitted by sending back the same letter that the station wishing to join the net has sent. Once the station wishing to join the net hears that sig signal being sent back to him, we'll go ahead with joining the net, typically by indicating DE, which is the code for from, their full call sign, and then any signals that they have following. For example, if they do not have any traffic to bring to the net, they will send QRU. If they do have traffic to bring to the net, they will typically send QTC, along with its destination and its quantity, and possibly also its precedence in the case of something that is priority or of more urgent nature. Let's take a look at how this works. So when net control sends back our call sign, along with the pro sign AS, which is the letters AS all run together, which means wait, that means we are in the net and we're ready for business. I hope that you have enjoyed this, and I look forward to seeing you on many future videos. KD8TTE, out. <laughs>